Pastor Josh Ma, there's a little um, little misty yesterday for us. Uh, yeah, and we're going to do that again today. Uh, still made it in the mid 60s to around 70 yesterday afternoon. And then as we head through the day today, we're going to do that again. Let's show you what's going on this morning. We have a rain chance on the way uh, for your morning drive. 7 a.m. at about 59, 60 degrees at 8. We'll be in the low 60s at 9 o'clock. Those showers are moving on shore as we speak this morning. I hope you're having a good start to your day. Let's zoom on in and show you the highest concentration. These are moving in from the ocean into the Charleston Metro right now. We've got some light rain west of the Ashley. This will slide up into the plantation areas of uh, Charleston County and lower Dorchester County. Another little batch of showers headed up toward Walterboro as well. So you're going to see this off and on throughout the morning. North of there, the rain chances go down a little bit. Our next little area that we're watching though for later today is down here to the east of Florida, and this will be moving up toward the low country, I would say late this afternoon into this evening, and that will bring in a better chance for some rain for all of us. We're looking at upper 50s and low 60s to start the day this morning. It's a mild one, mostly cloudy. There will be some peaks of sun today, but again, it will be mostly cloudy, very similar to yesterday and the day before. Low 60s at 9 o'clock, upper 60s at noon, low 70s at 3, and mid 60s at 6, the best chance for rain coming in late this afternoon into this evening. A high today between 70 to 73, we think inland will be between 65 and 67 out toward the beaches with an east wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. There will be some patchy sea fog to deal with as well that could roll on shore along and east of Highway 17 at times when we have a warm air mass like this and that onshore wind. There's nothing to stop that from rolling inland, so be on the lookout for that. Also some showers around tonight. Southeast winds at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Let's track these showers with our high resolution forecast model. 12 o'clock, just an isolated sprinkle or two, but by 4 or 5, you can see that rain chance going up, and then that carries us into the evening hours. Overnight, this will taper to showers. Tomorrow morning, we'll see a few isolated showers to begin the day, and then a better chance for showers and even some thunderstorms coming in late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night. Then we clear out for Saturday, and Saturday is going to be a much cooler day with highs only in the low to mid 50s. Then Sunday and Monday, we're in the upper 40s with lows near freezing. It's going to be quite chilly for the MLK Day Parade on Monday. Look for temperatures in downtown Charleston at the time we step off in the low 40s is how it looks to me right now with sunshine.